Good morning, class! My name is André Barros. Leonilton and I will be guiding you through those hard days of quarantine, alright? You already have a document with all the instructions of the activities you have to do, the questions you have to answer. Well, I'm new here, I'm not used to be a blogueirinho, okay? And so, uh, this is really new for me. I'm sorry if I make some mistakes. Nothing really different will happen here, okay? Because I'm learning how to edit, but please, don't mind if I make any mistakes in the edition, alright? So, we have taught you about the past tenses already, but I will remember you about some things that might help you doing the questions of the page 13 of your book, alright? Think with me. Um, simple past. We use the past simple when we want to say about something that have finished in the past, okay? For example, um, he was sick. He was all oh, sick, but he's not sick anymore. He's fine. So, he was sick. It's over in the past. Um, maybe you were in the party. I can say that. I, you were in the party in the past, but today you are not in the party anymore. Can you say that I'm using was and were? It depends of who you're talking about. If it is I, he, she, it, you use was. If it is you in the singular or you in the plural, we or they, you use were, all right? When you say something in the past using the affirmative form, you need to remember that the verb, when it's a regular verb, will end with ed in the end. For example, danced. Yesterday, I danced Zumba. All right, I'm doing some exercises here at home. If it's a irregular verb, you need to memorize all the irregular verbs in the past. But don't worry, with time, you will learn and get all the verbs you need, all right? In the interrogative form, you use did, all right? For example, did you eat lasagna yesterday? Pay attention, I'm gonna use a little bit of Portuguese here, I think it's important for you. Olha só, did you eat lasagna? Você comeu lasagna? Mas olha só, esse did já falou que tá no passado. Então, did you eat? Esse eat eu usei como se estivesse no presente, porque o did já falou que é passado, então eu não preciso colocar o verbo no passado também. Alright? In the negative form, you use did not or didn't. For example, uh, I did not eat lasagna yesterday. Mm, I wish I did. Again, I did not. O did já tá no passado. O not já falou que é negativo. Eat lasagna. Esse eat ficou na forma como se estivesse no presente. Ok? Very simple. Now, let's talk about the past continuous. In the past continuous, you're going to talk about something that have happened exactly in the moment in the past. For example, I was dancing Zumba yesterday at 9 p.m. Can you see it? I was doing something exactly at that moment. Now let's talk a little bit about past perfect. Remember, you can have many different moments in the past. Um, you, yesterday you woke up, you brushed your teeth, you took a shower, you watched Netflix probably, you spent a lot of time talking to your friends on WhatsApp, you did many things yesterday in the past. So, when you want to say about something in two different moments in the past, you're going to do it using these two. For example, yesterday I went to sleep with a stomach ache uh, because I had eaten lots of chocolate before. Can you see it? We have two moments in the past. The moment when I went to sleep and the moment when I ate chocolate. What do I did before? The first thing I did, eat chocolate. What I did later? I went to sleep. But see, the thing that happened long time ago, I used had. And the thing which is closer to now, I just used in the past. See again? I went to sleep with a stomach ache because I had eaten lots of chocolate. All right? The had go for the one which is farther from the moment I'm speaking. All right? I hope this have helped you a little bit with answering the questions and learning a little bit more of English. Thank you very much for your attention. Kisses! Bye-bye!